Hi everyone. Um, I thought I'd show you today some more uh, paper flowers or cardstock flowers and this time I'm showing you a few different ways of using the same dies to create some different looking flower heads. This, this appears more like a daisy or you could have just a single layer. This one is similar to how I made this one but it's got the added water used and it just makes it slightly more of a rumpled look and gives a bit of variety and then this one I've added another layer and then I am going to show you another one at the end but which I haven't uh, actually made up yet but then using some of those ones or like those ones and some others Excuse me if you hear my dog barking in the background, she's only a puppy, she's nine months old and she's got quite a voice on her and unfortunately there doesn't seem to be any way to stop her. Right, so this is the die set I've used which is from Spellbinders and it's an amazing paper grace die by Becca Feacon and it's the Cinch and Go VO not Roman numeral whatever that is <laughs> not very good on that one, on that one right so to make mine I've, I've on some of them I've used quite a thick foam pad and I also use a thinner one as well and then some glue and then I've used a medium sized ball tool a uh, smaller sized ball tool and then a very tiny ball tool that I have in my stash and then for colouring them I've used some distress ink um, that is entirely optional and up to you what you use I just happen to use that because I like the colour and the effect but that like I said is entirely up to you and I have cut them out of a sketchbook which is by Windsor and Newton and it's a heavyweight um, paper which is 170 GSM or 80 pound um, and it says it's for penciling and will take watercolour. You can use basically any watercolour paper you have. I've used various ones and I have even used a three, uh, 300 GSM cardstock that takes water just equally, you just have to be careful with it. Right, so, we'll make a start and hope that the dog doesn't bark too loud. I'm going to start with two of the largest ones and being as it's autumn, some of this spiced marmalade, ordinary distress ink. I'll just put a bit on a finger sponge and just add it to the front of the petals. You can add more on some places to make it a bit more, um, well just to give the colour variation really. Or if you prefer the look of it being plain or one colour, just, just don't go over in places and that way you get that effect. Anyway, this one for now is what I've done. Now, I don't need to colour the back on this one because I'm not, the back won't be seen. On some, you will have to do. Right, so. Taking the medium sized ball tool, or I might even use the one smaller again, we'll just have to see. Turn them over. First of all, I'm going to add a bit of water. I'm not adding a lot. And I'm not adding it all together at the same time because you can find because they're only very narrow towards where they join the main body, they can tear, especially on the small ones. So basically, start on the outside edge and just press in the centre down with the ball tool 
and then just lightly cup it with your fingers it doesn't have to be perfect by any means right then turn it over I usually try and spread it out a little bit with my fingers I don't suppose it matters and then taking a larger ball tool press it down just go in a roundish motion this particular flower because I'm making it double or double layered I'm not too bothered about the petals being too curled up so again do the same steps for this one some flowers I've made in the past I've used quite a bit of water but I found with these just a, an absolute hint is enough So on the way around and then again with the slightly larger tool go round. Right, we'll leave those to dry a little bit for now because if I, I could glue them together but if I do that now more than likely they'll want to go a bit too flat. So I'll just leave those for the side for now and we can show you just a basic basic one that's just single flower dead easy to do similar things this one I am just going to take my spice marmalade again but all I'm going to do this time is just colour in the centre on the front don't worry too much about it, it doesn't have to be anything again specific and a tap, slight tap touch of water which has made it run on the other because I've used so to get rid of that you can just spread that out a bit and you just get a bit of a, a colour definition so as you can see because it's been the water has been spread about a bit more this is coming up quite well together so again turn it over and just go around now then this time I'm going to get me deeper foam mat. You could use a washing up liquid sponge, it will give the same effect and really go down and give your ball tool a wiggle. And as you can see that gives it a much more cut look than that. Hope you can see that. So that one I would leave just as a single flower effect which is similar to that. Fair enough, mine, the ink went a bit more out of the centre, so whichever. If you uh, if you wanted to get that look, just do it in the middle. Make sure your, your counter's not wet like mine is. And then you won't get the ink spreading underneath. So that was that one. And then, basically, I decided the other day I quite like the look of this this different one that I'm going to see if it um yeah so that one you need two of the larger ones and one of the smaller and again make sure my counter is dry I'm going to use um am I going to use all the same no I'll tell you what I'll have a change I'll use some different ink as well so for this one same uh, foam finger thing and this one is a Versa Magic Chalk Ink sorry about that, was it a shot? Versa Magic Chalk Ink basically any anyone will do if it spreads it doesn't matter um, right so this one because it's being layers I'm again doing all the petals 
and again because it's only the front showing I'm only doing the colouring on the front just love how many different looks of flowers you can get just using the same set of dies so dead simple nothing hard about that again turn them over just give that a bit of a clean and again the thinner foam mat that I prefer to use for this but again that would be entirely up to you right so again starting with a fairly smallish ball tool uh, actually no I'm saying that I'm not giving it a spray of water which I will just do get mixed up in what I'm showing you so my uh, some I haven't some of the layers I haven't added water to I was getting mixed up what I was showing you anyway hopefully you can keep the gist of it known to go off at a tangent sometimes Right, again, because this is layered, I'm not too bothered about the bottom layer being too curled on the edge of the petals. So that will do for one. Get my water bottle to give some water. And again, using the smaller edge tool go from the outside of the petal in the centre of the petal to the middle some tend to want to jump about more than others don't know why that is but it does this one you can slightly play with your fingers to try and get it to ball, ball in a little bit more They are a bit delicate at this stage because the paper's wet so you have to semi be careful and that's layer number two and then just make sure this is dry I shall give this one a quick spray as well now then this one I am going to use my narrow quite tiny Sorry, ball tool. Because these, as of course, as the flowers go smaller, the width of the petal goes smaller as well. And this one is a bit more fiddly because it's not as big. So this one does tend to jump about a bit, but just persevere, do your best. Again, turn it over. And then using the medium sized, just give it a bit of a thing in the middle. Right, we'll set those to dry as well. So that was that, that was that one. Right, now I'm going to show you just one that I think looks quite cute. So for this, we will need the sm two of the small ones two of the next size and then let me see how many have we got now that size, that size size is that size, yeah right they're all together on the desk and of course I've got them all mixed up because I'm, I'm messy right, I think we're right at that I think <laughs> let's hope so anyway <laughs> right just get rid of the middle thing that came in the, with the dive not going, actually this feels like it's got more than one layer yeah it does by accident I put two layers of them through the dye on some of these and I hadn't realized till I actually cut them but having said that they cut really good so yeah that's another one Right, of course it meant I had more left, which was really a good thing in one sense. Right, so. Uh, 
yeah, we'll go with pink again. Really doesn't matter. Do them to whatever colour you want. Right, the small ones. Turn them over. Colour on the back. I'll do the back first because otherwise I do have a tendency to sometimes forget. Right, so, and then do the same on the next layer. So the next size up. So I've got one, two, three, four. Sorry, I'm just having to get another flower head. I seem to have lost one somewhere. Yeah, that's the same size. And then ex the same again on the next layer. So this is colouring on the back. And then on the larger ones, colour on the front. I'm not quite sure what color, what sort of dye this pink is, so I don't know whether when I add a bit of water whether the dye will move or not. Actually, on this flower I've made before, this was coloured with a distress ink, and I did add water to the colour that the side that was coloured, which did make it disperse into colours slightly paler in places and darker in others. And I quite like that look, so don't be afraid to do that if that's the look that you actually like. It's, I find that it's something I quite like. Right, so. Take your little one, and not your little ones, and on the other side, actually I think that that's a, a double one as well. Yeah, it is. So that's the colour side I coloured. So you only want one layer of each. It's just, like I said, this was just unfortunately, I hadn't realised I put two layers of card through the die cut machine together. Right, so on this one, I literally only need a little bit in the centre colouring. So I'm going to take some, I'm going to take a, um, well it's a sort of ear, ear, ear bud, but it's weird shaped. And I'm taking some Walnut Distress, distress Stain. Just adding a little bit to the, and literally just going in the centre like that and then you could do this the other way around I suppose but it was just so I didn't forget to do it to be honest um, I'm going to on this one because this is the one I'm not sure the most I am going to do the fronts and I think I might do the fronts on the next ones as well I'm confusing you all aren't I? Sorry about this Right, now then I might I don't actually know whether the next layer needs it doing or not, to be honest, but I will because it might not curl up as much as I wanted it to. So basically, the smallest, the next smallest and the third smallest, you can colour on both sides, but you only need to add the dark to the centre of 
the tiny ones. Hopefully. <laughs> right. So the small ones again, we'll start off with those. Get rid of some of that excess ink. And again, now we're going to give this just a tidgy, tidgy bit of water. And on the back, and then we're going to flick it over so it's on the front, and we're going to curl these little petals in with the smallest ball tool. It is very delicate because they are so tiny and you have added a bit of water. And then basically you need to hold it together. With your fingers. It's very hard work for me to hold it up and hold it together, so I'm hoping you can see what I'm doing. Uh, I don't know if I can zoom it, probably not. Maybe that's for next time. There we go. As you can see, that's quite together, and you can just about see the dark inside. Right, put that to one side. Your next layer, which again is the same size. Again on the front, water on the back, thingy on the front, uh, shape on the front. Do the same again. Bring in your leaves up, petals up to the centre. This time you don't need to cup it so tight. Well, basically, oops, where have you gone? There, sorry. It looks like that. Looks a bit white on there, and it's actually pink, but anyway, never mind. It's not big picking up the colour, there it goes. The petals are, are pink. Right, so now we need the next size, the next two sizes, which are these. So again, water, a little bit, that went rather, rather a lot, so I picked it up straight away because I don't want it so wet. And in fact, I might just blot it off a bit. And again, there's no real hardship in, the, in making this, these flowers at all. Once you've just tried to remember what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, that's more like it. Trying to remember what you're doing. So again, just tweaking it with your fingers so it goes in together. I'll probably hold it a little bit longer but you don't want to see me holding the, the flower together do you? That will be a bit boring for you. So again And again. Now that one seems to have cupped more than the last one. They can vary. So I'm going to make this one as this one is the next, the actual next one in my layers. It's against the one that I used before. And then we've got the next two. Now these, I think, yeah, I am going to add a bit of water. Not a lot, as they say. And using my next size ball tool up, 
I'm going to not go quite as close to the centre with me going down the petal, so only really halfway down. Because you've used the bigger ball tool, you'll not get it quite as closed in. But I am going to this time go around with the centre in the middle. So again, just dry me. Sounds a bit tough to dry the pool water and then add some, doesn't it? But you've got more control that way. Again, I might just block that off. So again, using the that size ball tool again, only do the edges, the ends of the petal, should I say, not the edges. We've got wider flowers, petals. You can go down the edges with your ball tool, but on this particular one, that you can't because they're not wide. Well, you can, but for this look of flower, you don't want to be doing that. So that would be the next one, and then we're on, we're at the final bigger ones now. Now these, I'm going to see what it's like, but I think I might not even add water. Just let me. Yeah, now then, on these ones, I am also going to, before I do that, I am going to add some colour. Just depends what happens. But I think, looking at that, I would say, colour both sides with the colour, whatever colour your main colour is. Maybe should have practised these before I started doing this tutorial, eh? That would have been wise. Probably. Still, never mind. Got there in the end. That's what matters. Oops, that was my water bottle falling over. Sorry about that. Right, so, right side facing up and medium sized bowl too. What we go with the edges. And just slightly ease that round. And then the same again on this one. Every every flower can look different by what you put in the centre, what colour you do it, and how many layers, whether you have the layers facing one way or facing another way. And then I'll just go around the centre again to just cup it ever so slightly. Now that one, again, has cut more than that one. So I'll probably have that, even though I did that one the last, I'll do this one as my next layer and then that. So to show you the layers, might be the easiest way to do it. That's the other flower, sorry. There we go. So, now then, and I've lost two. There we go. I found there's two missing there somewhere. Right, I might just give that a little. There we go. So, basically now, we would build those up. So, we start off with the smallest and the next one. And as you remembered, we've made that one really curled in together to make it form like a bud. So, taking some glue and maybe some tweezers i find it's easier with tweezers add some glue on the bottom anyway glue will do 
I'm actually a bit short of wet glue at the moment actually so this is I'm hoping this will stick I could have done with some more different one really right so that roughly in the centre of the other and then you can shape the outer layer around the bud hopefully you can you see that hopefully right I've broke a few nails this weekend as well so that's not helping right so between next stage would be these and these so I think again that this one is slightly curled more so taking that bring that in drop it roughly in the center and again curl it in So I'll do the same, basically it's the same steps with these now. Depending on what colour you could, you did this, this could look a bit water lily-ish actually, I think. So that's your next layer. And then you need your next ones again so looking at that they're both basically the same coming out the same size so it doesn't really matter which one I use it really doesn't matter if your flowers are not central central but if you can get it as a little bit as much as you can You see how you're building those layers up now? And we did need to do, to do both sides of the flowers, so do colour both sides. I forgot what I was doing, I think. Right, leave that one slightly open just so it's easier to get this middle bit in. And again. And there we go. You could have more layers, I suppose. You could add one layer each or more layers each. I quite like the two of each, but again, I've not tried it, but I bet it would vary the look of the flower. So again, slightly open this one up and pop the centre in. Now I'm not going to overly bring that one together because I want that one to look like as if it's just starting to open on the outside. And then we'll put the last one on. And I'm hoping because the petals are bigger on this, I can um, alternate the petals to the last one. So I'll fill in the gap, but we'll see. I don't actually know if it will. Yeah. So if you make the last petal of the, the, the row before in between the petals, you'll get a more flowing look. Well, for this type of, of flower anyway. So there we go. That's... And look how different that looks to that one. And you've used the outer layer and the next layer down, the bigger layer and the next layer down. You've used two petals of the outer layer on that one and one on that one. And you've used two each on that one. Just look how you can get different looks. Brilliant. Right, going back to what I did before. These are now fairly dry. So again, uh, again, I look at which seems more 
curl together which is this one so again just add some glue and again this time try and alternate the petals sometimes it's easier said than done but try oh dear there's my dog again sorry about that Live on quite a busy street where a lot of people go dog walking and she just wants to say hello to them all. She's very friendly. And this with this COVID about she can't get to see people like she she wants to do so. Right. So that is that one. Which is a well, I think it's quite daisy looking, but fair enough, this time I've coloured that one. If you remember, I coloured it with the lemon. And then this one, I just cut, I was the one that I coloured in the centre, but then I got a little bit too much water, so it made some of the, th the leaves thingy uh, coloured. But on this one, <laughs> I didn't make that mistake, and that is the one that looks like it's got the white petals. Just goes to show you, there is no right and no wrong. So remember I also cut that one more by using my thicker foam mat and my ball tool and pushing in. So right, now how I would finish these off is a variety of ways. Sometimes you can use just a, um, what they call self-adhesive pearl effect thing. Um, this is one, this is a thing that I've I made once with the exactly the same sorts of flowers on um, although I, I did make this uh, one today that was all this one that I made you today that wasn't on this but basically as you can see some of the, the microbeads on and the occasional just small one layer one just as a self adhesive pearl on just to make a let me see if I can get it yeah that one just to self and it's that is literally just one layer coloured and very lightly shaped. Nothing nothing uh, thing nothing spectacular. Right, the microbeads go everywhere and it doesn't help because I think actually now I've not tried this before so bear with. I'm going to see what happens with some 3D glue. Oops. Don't do that with it. And put some marker beads on. And then try and squidge it down with your fingers. <laughs> Didn't help that I turned mine up, upside down. And there we go. You can use uh, prills if you have them. I don't have any yet. Just something on my wish list, but I haven't got any yet. So that is basically, now that one was with watercolour paper that I've just done and that one was 300 G GSM paper card and I literally didn't put any water on that one either. You can, you can use water but on that one I didn't. So I didn't, I didn't use the water but I went down on the back, I coloured the centre with some ink, turned it over and went down the outside with the bot small ball to medium ball tool but I didn't add any water on that one so as you can see they do look again for the same type different and there we go and the rest these others are literally just one layer coloured on both sides some microbeads in the middle with just flat glue. I didn't put uh, 3D glue on that. And then they just look like little buds. And again, you can add the smaller one. And you can keep those separate as uh, separate layers. So that they look like a trailing flower design, which is what I did there. Right, just love them. Right, I hope that's been helpful.
sorry I, uh, I've i got a bit confused in some places but to be honest I've not done a video for a while um, anyway any questions just ask it isn't a problem at all bye